Yes, he's bought some food. Our first food customer, Julian Choi. Fantastic. Hello guys and welcome to the next episode of Brick in the Mall with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So, let us take a look at the restaurant here. Ooh, 10,000. Uh, we're trying to get our targets first of all. We're almost getting there. But before we do that, we're going to talk about this restaurant. Thank you all for the comments that you uh, put with all the suggestions of all the things that you thought could be wrong. First of all... Uh, I know these are all in the wrong order. We spoke about that in one of the other episodes. We've got the food preparation at the back, um, which I think I'm just going to put some extra flooring in here while we're talking. Um, is it this one? No, it's not that one. Actually, I prefer that for cooking areas. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Um, so these here are basically payment counters. So somebody would come here, order their food and pay at these counters. Uh, these are the food warming. Let's have a look. See, so fast food warmer and fast food soda dispenser. So this is where uh, the people that work at the counters where you're paying would get the food. We noticed that before. I wasn't sure. I thought this is where the customer would come and pick up their food and then go around here and pay for it and then sit down. Or they would walk along here with like their plates and get the food and then pay and sit down. I thought that was how it worked, but that is not how it works. We don't have an option to move these things around, unfortunately, which I was hoping would be added. Um, maybe that will come. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the dev is watching. Hello, developer. Thank you for your emails as well. They've been helping me. There was also a bug which made uh, the game think that all of my seats were taken. So whatever I would have done to fix it, it wouldn't have worked. But the biggest thing that's caused a problem, I mean, it may have been my problem misreading things, was having these here. My two checkout guys. Let's have a look at the managed fast food. They've got two cashiers. They're going to these down here. That is not where they need to be going. They need to be going up here. So if we just pause this a second, if we do a remove walls and objects and remove that and remove that, let's get things going. Do we have any builders in? Yeah, the builders are coming in. They will then remove these and this guy, if he's still on shift, will come and work up here. Let's just see. Or he'll go home. <laughs> oh, also, I'm probably going to have to just remove all of this and replace it anyway. So, let's get working on this. And we'll get it all fixed up and it'll work. Because I think you also mentioned, if I remember correctly, some of these things were bugged out. So, we're also going to remove... Uh, so, what are these called? Let's have a look. No, I want to select... So, got order counters and fast food warmer soda dispenser. So, let's remove... There we go, look, see, she's come to work there now. Um, but these have a queue on them, which we didn't... Uh, there we go, let's do that. So, if we remove those, she'll have nowhere to work. Let's remove those, and we're going to remove... Actually, I'm going to leave the chairs and see what happens. So, let's get those removed, and then we're going to put those up the back here. So, object. Now let's have a look. So we've got these here. Let's see what happens. So basically, they cook the food. Oh, I need to also get my stock clerk for here to start a little bit earlier because the shop is opening at 6 and there's no food. So if he works, starts at 5, maybe we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Stop working. We're going to remove the thing. Okay, we need to put some flooring in. Let's fill in the floor tiles. There we go. There we go. There's probably a gap under there. I don't know. Yep, there we go. We'll do that one. So let's have a fast food warmer. So I mean, we could have a food, a food, and then we could have soda and soda like that. In fact, I'm going to move some of these chairs. They're going to get in the way, aren't they? So let's remove those. In fact, let's just remove all of them. We're, we're, we're going to redo this one. Uh, what's that saying there? Queues? Queues fall. Yeah, we're going to be working on the queue system here as well. We're going to change this recycling area and we're going to open this up and have like a big queue section there so we can fit more. Yep, lots of ideas you guys have been giving me, which is fantastic. Oh, it actually tells me it's incomplete down the bottom there. That's handy. Yeah, we're going to do some changing. Also, some of you have said about having 
thinking of this as a mall, which you would normally have in a mall, is like you'd come in, you'd park, you'd go into a big open area, which would be open and then have lots of plants and seats and things, and then you'd go off into different stores. That's a fantastic idea, but at the minute I've only got $87,000. So whereas I would like to do that, and let's speed these guys up a bit, I've got to sort of do things a bit at a time to learn how things work uh, and also to be able to get enough money to be able to do that. So, ah, quick sip of tea. So we'll get there, we'll get there. It may be that after a while of doing this, we restart and do something entirely different and go for a really cool design. But as it's going at the minute, I don't mind because we are learning as we go. Okay, let's stick this last bit of flooring in down here. This one here. Let's get that looking nice. I think they're done. There's nothing there, is there? So I don't know what you're removing. You seem to be removing floor. I don't know. So we've got those. Let's get our order counters. So look, they've got... Oh, wow, they've got a massive queue. Is this room not even big enough? Um, one of the things the dev mentioned was to make sure when we play, place this, there seems to be a little bug at the minute where if you don't place it allowing your full queue, they might not get used. So we need to obviously make this bigger. <laughs> Darn it. Um, so we need to remove the walls that are here. And just make this as big as we can. So let's do that. Shame we've only got one builder on. Oh, is that, oh that's a cleaner. Oh, and the builder's going home. Okay, let's just speed through the night. Oh, there we go. Next builder's come. Excellent. Uh, we could actually put some floor tiles down here. I've got room to get that. We might... Oh, there we go. Let's just slow things down a bit. So let's place uh, some foundation. Oh, excuse me. Hiccups, hiccups. Can I remove that tree? Yes, I can. We'll leave that other one there. Um, let's put some foundations in. So I'm going to go... Oh, is that not going to let me do that? Or do I have to do it like this? Um, if I do that... Okay, it's not going to put any along there, I don't think. We'll see what happens. Is that long enough? Let's have a look. Order counter. So where does it go to? It goes to that one there, that one there, that one there. I'm not sure whether that's even enough room now. I mean, we could try it. We'll stick, we'll stick a couple of order counters in here. So that, I mean, what a gap in between there. I'm going to put one there and one there. And then we've got space for eating in the middle. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that's okay. Let's put some floor tiles in. Finish this off. There we go. Wait for them to do that. And then we can reassign the rest of that as part of this place. As part of Biff Eats. Although I might change that. We've had some better names for this area. So... Uh, oh, okay. Let's put some walls in. We'll have a wall there, please. And we'll have a wall there. Thank you. Please come back. <laughs> Please come back. We'll do that. Yep, here they come. Let's get them to finish this off. There we go. Excellent. So let's assign a fast food restaurant. So if we just go like that, is that'll be enough? Yeah, excellent. So that's all done. So now we just need to put some tables in. Hopefully that's going to work. So we could place these down the middle. That is a perfect size. Let's go, and then we've got to have a gap between them. So before I was placing them together, we've got to have a gap to get in. Like that, they get in at the top. I'm hoping that's okay. So what's the time? Two o'clock. He's that stood around there. This guy doesn't go home, does he? I'm hoping that's okay. And then we're going to move that recycling. I might put it over this side. And I want to move that storage as well because we're ending up with four shops here. Oh, we don't have anything on here yet, do we? What are we going to put on these? Fresh fruit and veg. Oh. Ah, okay. 
So that could be good for over here. Okay, let's concentrate on one thing at a time. Let's get this going first. So let's. So that should hopefully. Wow, who are you, Benjamin the cook? It's three o'clock. Why are you? Oh, we've we've got something else here. Uh, Noah Benjamin, you start at one o'clock. Cashier, you start at one. You start at six. Stock clerk at five. I don't know why he's still there. I guess we'll find out. I'm just wondering whether these are in the way. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove those. Let's let's just remove those. We can always put some more plants and stuff down. So I'll tell you what it is as well. Little up little thing for the uh, the dev to mention. When you're placing something like this, you obviously know that you need a gap around it. And there's the stock clerk. Where's he going? He's going home. I think. Going home. Why is he suddenly going home? Stock clerk starts at five. We'll come to work in one hour. Oh, right, okay. Maybe something's changed because we've been moving stuff around. He'll be back. What are you going to be doing? Hanging around. Nowhere to go. So when you're placing stuff, you obviously need to know if there needs to be space around it. So that might be worth adding in. Uh, let's just check. If we hover over this. Yeah, it's not saying there's any problem. Um, so, yeah, having that, like you do with the queue, having maybe a different colour, like green or something, just sort of line, outline. If you just need a space above, just put that above. So you know when you're placing stuff, when you need to leave gaps and things. So, huh? what's he doing? Hanging around as well. It's five. Is that because all of it's filled up? I think that's probably what it is. There's nothing for him to do. That's fine. Let's just check this. I'm waiting for it to open. So we've completed night hours. Allows opening between zero and six. Midnight and six. Okay. Let's finish the frozen food. And then we'll work on, I mean, a cinema or something like that would be fantastic. In fact, I'm going to switch to the cinema. Unlocks movie theatres. So we can go for something like that. That would be great. Okay. Let's speed things up. Oh, it's open. Here we go. My cook is in. My cashier is in. Oh, we've got a bit of flooring here to finish off. Oh, is that someone who's come in to buy something? Um, let's click on him. What's he doing? Queuing. Yes, he's bought some food. Our first food customer, Julian Choi. Fantastic. There we go. That was our first customer. Our first food customer. Oh, this is going great. Oh, is he going home now? He's been hanging out all day. It says you're hanging around because you've got nothing to do. Because it's all filled up. Oh, man. This is fantastic. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with this. So, if we... Just while that's running there. Let's speed that up a bit. If I remove this from here and extended that out. We could still only fit like three checkouts in because their queue is so long. We need like a much bigger space for all the checkouts. We could build like a checkout area up here and have a double door so people come in the shop this way, pay and go out that way. That is normally how these sort of things work, isn't it? So maybe that's what we'll do. How much money do we have? So I could actually sell three more products, couldn't I? I could just get that done. Let's put some tables in. Uh, objects, fruit, veg, yep, can I fit one there, I don't want to put one in front of the toilet, and one there, I know it's a bit hinky, but I just want to get that next 10,000, that target at the top there, let's see, oh he's so pleased, he's got exactly what he wants, okay, let's, Okay, set produce, fresh fruits, fresh veg. This this isn't how that's going to stay. We'll, we'll be redoing that. There we go. So that's got to get stocked up. So that's probably not going to happen until tomorrow. Yeah, look. People are queuing up. They're buying the food. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so pleased it's working. Let's finish off the floor tiles. There we go, and there we go. Good, good. Just 
wondering whether our storage areas don't have their own type of floor tile. Let's let's pick something out for them. What's that one here? Miss Cost. It's a shame we don't sort of get more of a view. Oh, that's nice. I like that. A lighter sort of colour. Yeah, there we go. And we've got this one down here. Excellent. Oh, unhappiness again. Is that queues at queues full at half past twelve? Oh, we were going to change the name of this, weren't we? Yep. It's not. It's not. Oh, somebody used the toilet. We'll check that in a second. It's not Biff eats anymore. Biff. Biff on olds. Yay! There we go. Oh, because now they're now they're eating and drinking. Look. Can we click on her in there? We can't. We can't. Don't want to invade your privacy or anything. We can actually use the toilets now. Okay, she's still in there. We'll leave her alone. Oh, there we go. What does it say? Did she say relieved? She's going for MP3 players. Okay, that's fine. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can build a nice checkout area up here. If we were going to put down an object, which is the checkout counter... There we go. That was weird. I was putting it there and it wasn't showing the queue properly. Look. Okay, so how long is what I'm on? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10 long. So, uh, we can count this like this. So, we had them at the sides here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we could have the wall. Yeah, there'd be plenty of room. If we made this into a checkout area. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Foundations. We've got some there already. So if I go like that. Oh, it's going to cost 50,000. Oh my goodness me. Ah, oh, another thing we want to work out is the width. So if we have a gap there. Yeah, so we want a gap there. Start it here. There. So we've got the queue underneath. Then a queue and a checkout, queue and the checkout, queue and a checkout. If we went up to there and went all the way along, what's that going to cost? 30,600. And that's going to give me checkout queue 1, checkout queue 2, checkout queue 3. <laughs> That'll give me three checkouts, but we need four, don't we? So. Go too high. 37,500. And then we can expand that later if we need to. Yep. Let's go for that. And then we'll probably tear this wall down here. Not this one, obviously. It's funny. I'm wondering whether they see these as gents and ladies' toilets. It doesn't seem so at the moment. It seems like they would just go in any one. We need another cleaner as well. Look. Oh, what's this? What have we hit here? Sell 50 different types of products. Excellent. So we've got the other targets. Uh, Q's full. Things are getting pretty dirty, aren't they? Let's... What have we got here? Staff. Oh, I can never remember where my cleaning staff are. They're not under there, are they? Maintenance centre. Janitor. There we go. What have we got? Starting at 7, you're starting at 9. I think we need one more. We'll, we'll wait on that because we want to get this done up here. Let's, let's fast forward. I'll have a sip of tea while they're building. There we go. So this is going to be our new checkout area. We need to build some doors over here. Let's get some double doors. We're going to have, let's see, one there. I put one there, one there, and one there. Yeah, three sets of double doors for getting in and out. That's what it's normally like when you go somewhere like that, isn't it? Checkout counter, we're going to have one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. One, two, three, four, five checkout counters. And then we're going to remove these four from here. So we're going to have an extra person working in the checkout counters. We're going to move our fruit and veg to up here. Because it isn't when you come in, the fruit and veg is always the stuff that you see first. And I might just knock out these doors here. 
So people actually do come in here, do the fruit and veg, go shopping, come out and queue and pay. Or maybe just make these staff doors, I think. That's probably what I'll do. Oh, this one over here isn't a staff door, is it? Look, this is a door anybody could use. Door. I think that's a staff door. Yeah, oh dear. Let's um, remove that. And let's build objects, a staff door in there. Hopefully that will just change that over. Excellent, they're done. So if we then remove... This will be good. If I remove these like now, what's going to happen to the people in the queue? Let's see. So the guy's going to come along with the drill. While, while they're paying, excuse me, coming through. Sorry, we've got some maintenance underway here. Yes, I know that your food is on the checkout there, but uh, stand back. We have a drill and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, oh, they're moving to another queue, are they? Looks like it. Oh, there we go. They're coming to the next one. Look at all these people in the queue. Oh, oh, where do we go? Is he angry? Oh, he's always gone shopping again. Oh, look. Everyone's unhappy. Let's just pause this a sec. What's happened here? Look. Going home. Going home. Satisfaction at the lowest. Look at that. Oh, dear. Queue's full. That's because there is no... Are they going up here? Oh, man. That's probably really bad. Are they... I'm wondering whether the checkout the cashiers, the checkout assistants, are actually going to kick in to move up here, or whether that's not going to happen until the next day. I think, are these, these are customers? Oh man, that could be bad, couldn't it? They're buying stuff, they've got nowhere to go. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Is this. This has got to be assigned as the same part of the store, isn't it? Yay! Now they're going to go over here. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Where are they, though? Are they all wandered off? Where's my staff? They don't seem to be in here. Hmm. Deborah Elliot. At home, will come to work in 21 hours. Oh, dear. Three hours. Well, we need one more anyway. So let's hire a cashier. Who's good? There we go. Andre Foster. Speed patience. Very sociable. Uh, let's have him start at 12. So he should come in. Let's have a look. Stuck in traffic? What? Okay, well, we we'll, might have to deal with that. And then hopefully these will all start working here. And then we're going to build... What have we got? 51,000 left. We're doing okay. Let's put our fruit and veg tables out here. How should we do this? So the queue is going. One... Oh dear, let's do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going up to the edge of that table there. So this gap here is all free. So we could go. Let's have a look. Got to have some space for them to walk in. Let's go like that. Oh, that placed in the wrong square. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Let's remove that one. Oh, I'll just right-click and remove that. There we go. I'm not sure I like that one up against the wall there. Actually, hang on a sec. No, let's remove all of those. I'm not quite sure I like them like that. It's a, not quite an even number, is it? Let's try that again. <laughs> There's a road still there. Um, if I did one there, and one there, then one there, and one there... Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That's sort of set out correctly. So let's have... We can have fresh fruit. We'll have fruit this side. Fresh fruit. We're going to remove these ones from down here as well. There we go. Done. Excellent. So that's fresh fruit. This one is fresh fruit. This one's going to be fresh vegetables. This one's going to be fresh vegetables. And then what about some bread? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, darn it. You moved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think we could fit bread in there. I might have bread down here. The bakery is always at the back of the store, isn't it? Yes. Let's add some. 
Let's add the bakery down here. Uh, I wish we could rotate these. It, it's it. annoying that we can't. Q's full. Okay, let's go like that. Let's remove that one. Like that. Yeah, let's have three with bread on. That sounds good to me. Let's get those built. Product for table food. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. And Bread. Nice. I'm liking that. Oh, this is running so much better. Look at that. All the checkouts full up. The food's running. We've got a bread section. We could put another shelf in there. I may just slightly adjust this section here. I'm liking this. This is running much, much better. Guys, let me know your comments in the comment section down below what you would like to see me try next. Hopefully, the cinema will be finished. 60 hours left, so not very long for that. We could give that a go, couldn't we, perhaps? And thank you as well for your help on getting this going. I'm glad it's all working now. There is a need for food. Let's have a look at the needs. Fast food. There's a big need for fast food. Uh, fast, on display zero. On display zero? What's all this? Fast food, what we... Mm, is there something else I need to add to here? If there is, let me know in the comments below. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to hit the big... The big... The big... The big... Don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button, the big B with the tea stain in the middle of the screen, so you don't miss out, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.